accused persons Martin Andrew, Edward Apia, Marfu Albert, Efrifa Jeffrey, Ahaji Christopher, Otre Samuel, Amwaku Prince, Anno Benjamin, Tibua Adu Samuel, Henry Nyakun, and 45 year old Kwesi Jintu Dakwa, the drug seller who were arrested in connection with the attack and assault of a teacher of the Enyenesin Methodist Junior High School were today arranged before the Tafu Magistrate Court. Without any legal representation, the accused persons all pleaded guilty to three separate counts of conspiracy to commit crime, to wit, threat of harm contrary to Section 23, 1 and 74 of the Criminal Offences Act 1960, Act 29, threat of harm contrary to Section 74 of the Criminal Offences Act 1960 of Act 29, being on premises for unlawful purposes contrary to section 155 1 of the criminal offenses act 1960 act 29 and possession of restricted drug without lawful authority contrary to section 1101 h of the health professions regulatory bodies act 2013 act 857 the magistrate her worship josephine echa jamina who indicated that the court will convict the accused persons based on their own plea, remanded nine of the suspects, in including the 45-year-old drug seller, Kwesi Jentu Dakwa, to reappear on 9th August 2022. Parents of the accused persons, 8 and 9, 17-year-old Anno Benjamin, a student of the WBM Zion School, and 17-year-old Tibwa Adu Samuel, student of the Koforidia Sektek were made to sign a bond to provide the accused persons in a deferred sentence since they are all juveniles. Parents, friends, family members and other members of the Indian community who were present at the court premises could not hide their emotions after the suspects were remanded by the court. <laughs> <laughs> One of them who spoke to City News denied the involvement of her younger brother in the attack. If you had a clip for her, no, 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 the Municipal Chief Executive for Ebuakwa North, Alhaji Umar Bodinga, who was present in court, spoke to City News after the hearing. So far as it has come to the, uh, the law courts, the decision is at the Busum of the judge, and we are here when she demanded them. The juveniles among them are the two, uh, A1 and A8 and 9. Their parents should sign producing them, which is on the land, is the second time of hearing. But the other, the, the ones who are adult has been reminded, she has they have been reminded to the police court because of depending on the life. Ahaji Omar Bodinga, who doubles as the chairman of music, further indicated that this will serve as a deterrent to other youth in the municipality and called on parents to help train their wards to be of good behavior. When God has given you, the owners of you to see to it that you put them in a good shape so that they become the future leaders. It's the country we be proud. And I'm sure this is going to send a signal to the youth within that community and Ghana at large because you, could, you can see the range of the age between 17 up to there. The oldest is 27. If this begin to happen within our, the, our future university, that means the country is not going to have a future. So by virtue of the law, they are before the law, it will send a signal for the other ones to repackage whatever their actions will be doing. And Frederick Tibua Ado, the father of one of the accused persons, 17-year-old Tibua Ado Samuel told City News, he believes regular police patrol and a permanent police station in the Enyenesin community will help restore law and order among the youth especially. One word, if there is a police, or if there is police patrol, 
once in a while to clear them off the street after nine or ten. That will help. So what about a permanent police post? Oh yeah, that, that's true. It's okay. It should be. It should be. It should be one. Well, there's one here. Or same. Even if there's something happening in the town, you have to come all the way to Palinta for reporting. And if something. Some, sometimes people too are not really don't have money to come. You come in. Blah blah blah. So if there's a police something station run about that area, it should be, it should be very helpful. Prosecuting Chief Inspector Banabas Mens told the court that some accused persons are still at large. Haji Umar Bodinga, however, indicated that he will use his good office and position as the chairman of MUSEC to assist the police to apprehend other suspects who are currently on the run. For that, they, they had the information. It's their responsibility to get whoever is part of this action to get them before the law court. That one, I think, with my position as the MUSEC chairman, with the police command is within me. I'm going to put an eagle eye on them in order to produce them before the next court date. The Abuakwa North Municipal Education Directorate and the MUSEC have all welcomed the court's decision to remand uh, these suspects. Now, these suspects are uh, supposed to come to the court on 9th August for their sentencing. For City News, Nel Ni Amate Kanaku, Akem Tafo.